Tesla hopped into the electric vehicle game with its original Tesla Roadster back in 2008. The first generation Tesla Roadster put Tesla on everyone's radar as a serious automotive company. That is not by any means the only noteworthy thing about the Tesla Roadster. It is also the first vehicle in space. Elon Musk sent his own personal Tesla Roadster into space as part of the SpaceX Falcon Heavy launch. Elon Musk was going with a full classic science fiction theme with this marketing stunt. The stereo on that Roadster was set to play David Bowie's Space Oddity, and there was a big Don't Panic text being displayed on the center LCD panel. The Don't Panic is a reference to the words on the cover of the famous science fiction book The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by famous English writer Douglas Adams. Tesla discontinued the first-generation Tesla Roadster back in 2012. Tesla spent the next years broadening their customer base with more widely available models like the Tesla Model S and Tesla Model X. In 2015, Tesla affirmed they had plans for the second generation of their original Tesla plan platform, the Tesla Roadster. Initially, they announced that the Tesla Roadster would be ready for delivery by 2019. Sadly, as we now know, this release timeline has been pushed to 2022. The public would finally set their eyes on the next generation of Roadsters in 2017 during an event hosted by Elon Musk. So let us take a look at the performance numbers released by Tesla and Elon Musk. The new Roadster will be able to do 0-60 to 60 in 1.9 seconds. For reference, the gasoline-powered McLaren 570S does the same as 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. It takes the 570S a whole second more than the Roadster to achieve this speed. According to Elon Musk back in 2017, the Roadster would be able to do a quarter mile lap in 8.9 seconds. The Roadster will have a top speed of 250 miles per hour and a range of 620 miles on a single charge. These specifications are just amazing, making the new Roadster not just a regular sports car, but these specs elevate it to the league of supercars. It should come as no surprise that the new Tesla Roadster would have a fully electric powertrain. That is kind of what Tesla does. The Roadster will use three electric motors, one in the front and two in the back, giving it all-wheel drive capability. It will be powered using a 200 kilowatt hour battery pack. The original Roadster also used a 200 kilowatt hour pack as well, but it is speculated that this pack will be using Tesla's upcoming 4680 cell technology. If you are not aware of Tesla's new cutting edge 4680 cell technology, here is a brief glimpse. The 4680 battery cell, as the name suggests, is 46 millimeters in diameter and 18 millimeters tall, so it is relatively larger than previous Tesla cells. The greater overall size allows for more electrical energy storage, five times the energy storage compared to the 2170 battery. Tesla was using the 2170 battery in models 3 and Y. The 4680 is not only larger, but its internal structure is different as well. It has laser-patterned shingles inside the battery that offer a shorter path for electrons to flow. So even though you have a larger cell, you have a battery with more power both in and out, resulting in short and charge time. The 4680 is also less harmful to the environment, according to Tesla. This should be good news for the more environmentally conscious customer base of Tesla. And if we are being honest, that is almost the majority of people that buy a Tesla. Tesla wants to eliminate the use of cobalt and make the battery at least 90% recyclable. The actual process of producing the 4680 battery is also less cumbersome. Pair that with water reduction efforts in the process and you get a better battery that is big in savings. So what else do we know about the Roadster other than it will be using the 4680 cell technology? Well, not a lot, but we do know that the Roadster will have a removable roof. In terms of cabin space, the Roadster will be able to seat four people, but the back two seats will be a little tightly packed, so don't expect luxurious legroom back there. The Roadster will come in an all-wheel drive with a wheel torque of over 10,000 newton meters. Tesla plans to price the new Roadster around $200,000 with a $50,000 add-on for limited edition Founder Series. We don't have a lot of details on the Founder's Edition, but one thing that was revealed was that there will only be 1,000 Founder Series models of the Roadster that will be built. These are all the official details, but there have been some reveals by Elon Musk about some wacky features that could make it to the new Tesla Roadster. Let us take a look at what those are. According to a patent filed by Tesla, the new Roadster will be using a unique single wiper system that is supposed to wipe windows better than anything else seen before. Tesla also claims it will increase driving range by using less electricity and by providing better aerodynamics by hiding under the hood when not in use. 
The patent has already been approved by the US Patent Office. According to the patent, the wiper will connect to an electromagnetic linear actuator and would be able to wipe nearly 100% of the screen surface. In theory, it should provide considerably better coverage than conventional wipers and allow the car to hide its wiper blade completely under the rear edge of the hood when it's not in use. But we have to take this with a grain of salt. This is just a patent that was approved. It doesn't necessarily mean that this makes it to the latest Roadster debuting in 2022. If the unconventional wipe wasn't enough, wait till you hear about the next supposed feature coming with the 2022 Tesla Roadster. According to Elon Musk, people buying the SpaceX package for the Tesla Roadster will get a surprise feature in their Roadsters. The SpaceX package Roadster will come with several cold gas rocket thrusters that will allow the Roadster to accelerate faster and handle even better. Elon Musk went into full details on Joe Rogan's podcast about this insane feature that he plans to add to the new Roadster. According to Elon, a thruster will pop out behind the license plate when it is armed. Yes, we realize this sounds like something out of a James Bond movie and not real life, but Elon Musk is adamant that this will make it to the final production vehicle. He further clarified in a tweet, SpaceX option package for new Tesla Roadster will include 10 small rocket thrusters arranged seamlessly around the car. These rocket engines dramatically improve acceleration, top speed, braking, and cornering. Maybe they will even allow a Tesla to fly. Replying to another tweet, Elon Musk even confirmed that it could even hover a little. No one knows what that means, but we will just have to wait and see for now. Tesla is aiming to start production of the Roadster in 2022. Tesla does plan to produce 10,000 units once it does begin production. The 2022 timeline could be due to a variety of reasons, but one thing we know for sure is the 4680 cells haven't reached commercial production yet. So Tesla will be holding out on starting manufacturing on the Roadster until they scale up 4680 cell productions. According to Elon Musk, we're not yet at a point where we think the cells are reliable enough to be put in cars. We think we are close to that point, we've already ordered the equipment for battery production in Berlin and Austin as well. We're down to the nitty-gritty on this. I'm confident that we'd achieve volume production of the 4680 next year. So at least one year before Tesla manages to achieve mass-scale production. It appears that bringing those cells into the market in volume is very challenging and might happen later than expected. This falls in line with Tesla's roadmap for a 2022 production start.